A startling story. Nearly 200 decaying corpses discovered. The bodies found at a funeral home in Colorado. The couple in charge tracked down and arrested here in Oklahoma. News Force Kaylee Olivas has been following these developments. Kaylee. Well, Jolene, an investigation into the pair started just over a month ago when reports of a foul odor circled a funeral home John and Carrie Halford owned. Behind the doors, reportedly 190 bodies improperly stored. It's absolutely shocking. It's horrendous tragedy. Four words, summing up a month's worth of investigating. The Fremont County Sheriff's Office in Colorado has been looking into John and Carrie Hallford since October 4th after a report of a, quote, foul odor circled a funeral home they own. Officials searched the Colorado Springs property and found 190 decaying bodies inside a decrepit building known as the Return to Nature Funeral Home. We have positively identified 110 individuals. We have another 80 individuals that we are working on diligently to identify. Dental records, fingerprints, and medical hardware are now being processed in hopes of identifying the rest. If necessary, DNA testing will come next. At least 137 families across the United States have been contacted, with 25 bodies returned to their loved ones as of Wednesday. They never lost sight of the victims in this, and we cannot imagine the pain that has been inflicted upon them. We're here to support them and we'll continue to be here to support them. Wednesday morning, breaking developments. The couple found and arrested in Oklahoma, both now sitting in the Muskogee County Jail. The Halfords now face four felonies of money laundering, theft, forgery, and abuse of a corpse. Several agencies, including the FBI division in Oklahoma City, tracking the pair to Wagner. The arrest, as far as I know, went um, off without a hitch. Today's news marks a very strong start to the justice that these families deserve. Well, right now, the couple's ties to Oklahoma aren't clear. Court records in the case are under seal for the time being, and their extradition process will start today. Both of their bonds are $2 million cash.